Everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is another episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with uh, Jim Theobald, uh, Beth Griffith, and Andrew Volotowski. Um, and this is uh, a, an episode called Charlie's Fantasy. It's about this guy named Charlie. And uh, he's, um, he's uh, uh, so um, Charlie's from this upper middle class family, and and he wants to uh, he wants to live that way. He he and, and we're, I'm also going to talk about some of his romances. Anyway, he wants money, and uh, and he wants freedom of thought. He wants to think. Mm -hmm. To a stranger, how Australia the hell are you? you? This and a financial statement. Give its yes and its ha ha. Work, work, stay here, it's a syrup. Maybe some Charlie's first long romance, out, you know, a college romance, was with this light, very disciplined uh, fairy princess. He liked her a lot, uh, but she tired him out. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
Charlie is afraid of being controlled. Uh, his next girlfriend, the next big girlfriend he has, he's afraid of being humiliated. So they're both aware of each other's fear, uh, but they both, you know, they have other fish to fry, and they're not paying too much of attention to each other, and, uh, and, and their sex life is doomed by these divergent needs. Uh, so their day-to-day -day waking life is not replenished by intimacy because although they have sex, they're not really intimate. Um, and so they, they both grow to dislike each other as well as they do also grow to love each other. Charlie suffers deeply. Uh, someone he desires does not desire him. Uh, that's how he sees it. <coughs> became psychologically abusive and uh, towards his girlfriend and he thought that this he thought this hardness reasonable uh, he needed his girlfriend to leave so he made it very hard for her to stay Oh, <laughs> 
you know what? I could tell you that. Charlie gets rid of the one girlfriend, he gets a replacement partner, uh, a more upper class person, a, a wiser, calmer, and calm enough to accept Charlie, uh, a compact, flat-faced siren that calls to him firmly. So this first wife, this is his first wife. Charlie gets married several times in the course of his life. Well, maybe three times. But anyway, this first wife, is she's got money. And uh, her sensuality is controlled and vibrant. Therefore, it's, it vibrates. Uh, she has a, a really touching inferiority complex that's expressed as snobbery. Um, when, and she bullies people, and when she bullies people, she probably knows it. She, 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 maybe she watches it play out. And she sympathizes with Charlie's sense of inferiority without discussing it. It's not what it's, not what it's, that's not what it's, that's not what it's, that's not what it's, Hang your head down low, hang your head down low, hang your head down low, you know what you're worth, you know what it's worth, you know what it's worth. Oh, <laughs> 
Charlie's mother uh, was a housewife, um, a wealthy housewife, and she kept her house very dark. It was so dark that it was difficult to read. Uh, the decor uh, it was a mix of antiques, animal prints, tigers and stuff, lace and pink. Charlie's father was a doctor, and so her husband was a doctor. His mother's husband was a doctor, and her mother, his mother, uh, was a had problems. She stayed high. Uh, she stayed high on pain pills and alcohol. Um, she'd made her bed, you know, but it was uh, it was it was tiny. Oh, <laughs> 
Charlie's mom, she bought things, uh, she made arrangements, she ate in expensive restaurants that weren't good. Her world was corny. <laughs> um, uh, she, made, she made scarves out of, uh, she delicately turned the edges of pieces of silk. You know, she had all this money and all this stuff, but she made these, she made these scarves, and I think that's something she learned from her childhood. Um, so she's, she's droll without an audience. Uh, there's a portrait, a huge portrait of her that looked like from Gone with the Wind that dominated the living room in one of, at least one of her homes. She had, she had three homes. Uh, I think she had seven bathrooms uh, or eight bathrooms, three homes. Um, she, she, she wanted a, uh, remember I, I, I saw that thing in the paper where they have this, one of the new apartments, in, that there are many new luxury apartments they're putting in Manhattan, it was a single one bedroom apartment and it had three bathrooms. Um, so anyway, so uh, Charlie's mom uh, wanted a girl, but a uh, girl child, but she, she only had boys, she had a couple of boy children, and so for a while she dressed up one, she dressed them, one of them up like a girl, not Charlie. bottles of beer.
Bye.